I'm Daniel Dietrich, I work for the Open Knowledge Foundation in Germany. The Open Knowledge Foundation Germany is part of the DigiWist Consortium and we are responsible for developing uh, so-called transparency tools which mainly will be public procurement websites for all uh, European legislations uh, that will also feature some uh, functionalities like freedom of information requests or uh, get in contact with the prosecutor functionalities. So from my understanding DigiWiz stands to make public procurement in the European Union and European countries uh, more efficient and more transparent which can save a lot of tax money and uh, can lead to better and more efficient public spending. I hope that we can motivate different stakeholders that have an interest in more efficient and transparent public procurement processes, including governments that procure themselves, including businesses that want to get uh, public procurement uh, contracts, as well as uh, uh, investigative journalists or specialized NGOs that have a strong interest to make uh, public spending more, pro more transparent. The Open Knowledge Foundation is very much w w intensively working, um, helping governments to make to publish their data and information in an open way and to support those who are interested in that information to reuse it. So I guess working on public procurement information and data is very much at, at the heart of, of, of um, our ambitions to help governments to become more transparent and empower citizens to engage with governments in a more meaningful way. I think uh, governments need uh, assistance and advice how to design public procurement processes so they are more efficient and tax money is spent more efficient. We also see a lot of new intermediaries coming up and I think it's to empower those intermediaries to um, uh, make that, to contextualize that information, to make it understandable and useful for citizens and other stakeholders in society. Who are these intermediaries, for instance? Well, I think it's uh, specialized NGOs that, for example, fight against corruption or fight for more uh, or work for more transparency in government. Um, but it's also, of course, journalists. There's also bloggers. There's also um, um, researchers that do kind of investigative uh, storytelling. I, I'm very much looking forward and I think this uh, project can have a real impact in European uh, public spending. Mm -hmm.